Ben and Kate are twins, but are incredibly different. Ben is our comedic child. If he could, would live his life in a pair of underwear and nothing else. He loves to dance, he loves to smile, he loves to goof around. He likes to make people have fun. Kate is a very driven little girl, creative, wants to draw all day, every day, wants to achieve. She's been through a lot, but does not look at herself as a victim, does not look at herself as having any different or tougher road than anybody else. Just a happy girl. These two had a tough start to their lives. I went into labor at 23 weeks gestation. The hospital did everything they could to, to stop labor. Unfortunately, it didn't work, and they were born at 23 weeks and two days. We did emergency C-section, and Kate came out at one pound two ounces, and Ben came out at one pound seven. We spent six months in the NICU, not knowing if they would survive. Lots of surgeries, lots of sleepless nights. Sarah and I had to juggle spending, one of us was always at the hospital. Will, our, our older child, was five at the time, so trying to figure out how to make all that work. I slept outside their hospital room one night. I just woke up probably middle of the night hearing just sirens going off and seeing them getting carted down the hall. I just always tried to remember that those doctors I just knew that they were gonna save their life. About you know, a couple of months in to the journey, they were still in the NICU, we learned that they had some significant brain bleeds, which very likely would lead to a diagnosis of cerebral palsy. We didn't really know what that meant then, we just wanted to keep them alive. When Paul and I researched, you know, where is the best place to go for children with cerebral palsy, there was no question that it was gonna be Gillette for us. For us to have Gillette right in our backyard too, could not have been any better. We then scheduled that appointment um, to have Ben and Kate both go through a brain scan, and this is when we were told that they were clinically diagnosed with cerebral palsy. At still a year old, you don't know where that CP is gonna take you. Is it going to be more gross motor? Is it going to be processing delays in speech? One of the doctors at Gillette did tell us, you know, just go home and love them. Do the therapies with them and we'll see where this takes you and we'll be behind you the whole way. If it's occupational therapy, if it is speech therapy, we will be here for you. And they have done that the whole way. In all honesty, Gillette is like a family. It's small enough, but yet large enough to have all of these different specialties, but it's small enough where you feel like you are a family. It's everything from Kate needing bracing on her feet, down to the wheelchair, her getting to pick out the correct colors for her, making it fun for her. We feel like it's important to tell our story. We think it's important to put Ben and Kate and our family um, in front of others to give hope, to give belief, not just that it's all gonna be perfect, quite the opposite. We feel blessed, but Sarah and I really feel it's important to not keep our story, the, the good and the challenging, to ourselves. We think it can make a difference for others. My dreams for Ben and Kate are to go through this world feeling loved, not to be seen as different, and for them to prove to others that miracles can happen.